as a kicking teeth, I won't lie. Um, ever since I turned professional, I've always been, it's been a daunting fact of what if I ever fail the brain scan. I was ready to fight. Uh, it, it was in October last year. Found out on my last hard training session, and it was just like <laughs> after everything I've been through in the year as well. I'd obviously had two hand operations in February. I'd finally come back from that, which has played a massive part in my career. My hands since I turned over, they were finally fixed, no pain at all. And then, then the news about the brain scan—it was just like a icing on the cake, and made me wonder, you know. Should I actually be in this sport? How are you going to feel when you get in there after this time out? It's going to be a bit surreal to be honest. 16 months out, but to be honest, this is the best I've ever felt leading up to a fight. So I just can't wait. get this fight out of the way first, six rounds. Um, next fight, I think could be May, I want to go up to eight rounds. And then after that, I told my manager Kevin, I said I want a title, whether that be Central Area or English title. I want that, I want that before the end of the year. Um, obviously I've had a lot of time out now, so it's time to push on. Um, no setbacks, you know, tunnel vision, I just, I want to achieve what I believe I can. So. All in my head now is titles. But boxing brought that confidence out of me. Not just in fighting, but just in life in general. You, you feel like you can conquer the world. You know, and at a young age, at 13, 14 year old, I think that's what uh, young kids need. 